How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel Today I will be talking about how I customize the lock screen on my Samsung Galaxy device. Well, I have been getting a lot of comments asking me to make a video on this topic. So with that being said, if you have a Samsung device, then make sure you watch this video till the very end because I will be showing you how you can change the look of your lock screen and make it more useful. Guys, also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first thing first, in order to customize your lock screen, you will need an application called Good Lock. All you need to do is go to your Galaxy store and search Good Lock. If you are unable to find this app in your Galaxy store, then you can download an alternative called Nice Lock from the Play Store, which works exactly like the Good Lock application. Once you are done, now open the app and download this module called Lockstar. It's a module which helps you in customizing and change the entire look of your lock screen. So simply go inside and enable Lockstar on your phone. Here you will see three different options which are edit portrait lock screen, edit landscape lock screen and lock screen timeout. Lock screen timeout is nothing but it helps you to increase or decrease the timeout of your lock screen. It will be set to 5 seconds by default which I think is not sufficient because you will need to see all your notifications and it is not possible within the time frame. So I will suggest you to change it to 15 seconds so you will have more time to check all your notifications. Next let's talk about edit lock screen. If you go inside this option, here you will get a lot of different customizations. First let's start off with position. This option lets you to change the position of each and every element in your lock screen. For example, if I want to change the position of my clock from top to bottom, I can now easily do it. Not only this, I can also change the position of my notifications, icons and even the widgets as well. Moving on to the wallpaper, here you can change the wallpaper of your lock screen. If you want, you can choose from a set of wallpapers that is available inside the module or you can directly apply from the gallery as well. Next, let's talk about the clock. This option allows you to increase or decrease the size of your clock and even you can change the clock style. There are so many different clock styles that you can choose within this module. Finally, we have items. This option lets you to add or remove any items from the lock screen. For example, if I don't like having status bar on my lock screen, I can easily remove it by using this option. Similarly, you can add or remove any items from the lock screen. Apart from this, you can also add more app shortcuts in the lock screen. By default, you can only add up to two shortcuts. As you can see, I have WhatsApp and YouTube that I can directly access from the lock screen itself. But if you really want to increase the app shortcuts from two to six applications, simply click on shortcut tab. It lets you to add six different app shortcuts in your lock screen, which is extremely useful. Once you are done customizing your lock screen, simply tap on save and that's it. Now you will have a brand new lock screen which look exactly like the way you want. Guys, I will highly suggest you to start using this module. I think it's one of the best way to customize your Samsung lock screen and take it to the next level. If you are unable to find good lock on your phone, then you can also download nice lock from the play store. I will make sure to drop a direct link in the description. So that's it. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.